Welcome to this new video about Quarkus and uh, I'm going to show you how you can integrate a Quarkus service to uh, Prometheus. So let's uh, start um, checking how we can add metric support to our Quarkus application. And the first thing that you need to do, it's really easy, is just add the um, a metrics microprofile spec dependency. To do that, and just need to um, add as a Quarkus extension, which remember that um, Quark an extension is just, you know, um, jar file, which is added in your build tool file. In this case, I'm adding Quarkus Smart Write metric, which is the, you know, the microprofile metrics implementation for Quarkus. And yeah, I'm just adding the, um, extension and now but by, by just adding this extension automatically the um sir uh, the, the the application is exposing an slash metrics endpoint providing some kind of you know default metrics and this default metrics can be for example the memory the heap memory the, the the pool size and so on let's see it if you want you can i can do a maven wrapper uh, compile Quarkus Dep. This is just starting my Hello World um, application, which is, we are going to inspect it uh, sooner. And then I can go here and do localhost 8080 slash metrics. And there we go. You've got here some kind of you know default um, metrics exposed. We have not done anything in, in our service, just adding this jar file. If you want to see my service, it's just a simple hello world service, which contains a get, which returns a message, this message is initialized to hello world, but also you can post a new message. And notice one important thing here is that I have this longest message, which is the size of, of or the length of the longest message. And I'm, I'm storing this and you'll see now why. And of course, if I do a put of a new message, I need to check if I need to update to the longest ever set message or not. Then, as I said, by default, just adding the jar, we are uh, getting a slash metrics endpoint with the default metrics. Let's add some kind of custom metrics. For example, let's count how many times hello methods is invoked. To do that, I just need to do the counted um, annotation, which is an one annotation that comes from the uh, metrics microprofile spec. I need to you know, set a name, for example, I can say, it I can put it like um, count hello and also I can do a description which is like count number of mm, serp hellos or servet messages for example. And it doesn't matter, I mean, it's just a message, it's a description. What else I can do? For example, I want to also provide some kind of um, um, uh, metrics about how much time takes this um, method. So the only thing that I need to use is a trimet and set a name, which for example, it, this name can be um, checks, for example, checks hello, and this under description is just a measure of how much time takes to serve a hello. Of course, I mean that this is um, some kind of metric which just provides the number of times that this method has been invoked and how much time it takes. But also I can uh, add some more custom information to Prometheus or to any metrics, which is using, for example, a gouge. So suppose that I have here a method, which is public int longest message, which returns the longest message, okay, and now I want to expose the longest message to um, the metrics endpoint. The thing that I need to do is just as a coach, so I just need to create a coach, set it a name, for example, um, the longest message. I need to provide a unit, and in this case, the unit is a metric unit none because I don't want to provide any um, metric. I mean that it's just the longest message, right? 
And of course I could put a description which is the longest message. And that's all. Now I've got all these uh, things, all these metrics exposed, and I can go here, I can go to slash metrics. And now, um, if we take um, clause, you see that, for example, I can check for uh, checks hello, which says that it's zero. And for example, also min seconds, the max seconds, and for example, the count, which is zero, because I never um, invoke it yet, right? Then I can just go here and I do a curl to a slash hello, it returns more hello wall. And now if I updated this metrics, you see, uh, for example, count, you see that now checks hello uh, seconds count is one and the time it's, well, it's this time, right? And the longest measures is 11, right? which is the number of the, you know, of the, of the, of the letters that contains hello wall. Then, how can I expose this to Prometheus? Well, it really is, in fact, because, the, as you can see, this format is already a Prometheus format. So the only thing that I need to do is just, I have here my install Prometheus, I just go to prometheus.yml file and just copy this. Okay, this is the default one file that comes when you installed um, Prometheus. Of course, this is a local Prometheus, but it's exactly the same when you have a Prometheus installed on um, on Kubernetes, and this job name, let's call it Quarkus, and of course Quarkus is serving at 8080. So I just do this thing, and then I can just run Promethe Prometheus, Prometheus, with this config file, you see that now it's, you know, starting everything. And now I can just go to the um, graph console of Prometheus that just comes by default and now I can just insert metrics and you see here all the metrics and we've got down, 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 down. We'll see that there is this written checks, max seconds, uh, longest message um, and so on. I mean that at the count and, and so on. So I can just choose uh, the count and do an execute and you see that this is a value one and now I can just go here do a curl, I can do some calls. Now, I don't, if I remember correctly, I, um, Prometheus is for me updated every five seconds or so. So it, it might take some time to be updated. Now it's one, it's one. Well, I don't need to wait until it's refreshed. Now it's refreshed, I did it three calls plus one, it's this four. And of course it's exactly the same if you want to check, for example, the rate per second, which is there is no data yet. And for example, we can check the um, the time in seconds. Wait, this is, this is start becoming a bit okay. Sometimes it gets. I mean that I screw this, but it's it's not related to quarks. because it's about the um, the this um, dashboard here seconds, and then do execute, and you can see here the all the percentiles and all the and all the times. So as you can see, really easy to integrate Prometheus with Quarkus. Just add the SmartRite metrics uh, extension and then you can just start writing your custom metrics and expose them to Prometheus. Hope that you find this video um, helpful. If you like it, just thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel or you can even follow me at Twitter, which is Alex Sotobi. See you there.